What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Burly Fishing. Today we're talking about the Ned Rig, but not just the classic Ned Rig as you guys may know it. We're talking about alternative rigging options. So reasons why we would do that, how to do that, different accessories that now exist for the Ned Rig, and how they're going to basically help you catch more fish. So we'll get to that in a second. Before we do, if this is your first time stopping by the channel, Thanks for coming by. Uh, please subscribe if you like the content. Smash that like button, hit the notification bell so you can see when we post more videos. So let's talk about the Ned Rig. Uh, first thing we do is we're gonna start with the classic. What is the Ned Rig? So we have a mushroom head jig. This one is by Z-Man, they're called shrooms. This is a classic Ned Rig. We're looking at a mushroom head jig. Uh, it's got a light wire hook and it's straight. So you just rig a plastic. In this case, we have the Z-Man Elastec, which you can tell is Elastec, because it's super stretchy. Uh, it's also extremely durable, and it'll catch a lot of fish. This rig alone right here, as long as you kind of re-rig it, or maybe use some super glue to keep it to the top, I think this one, yeah, this one's super glued. Uh, you're gonna catch about 50 fish, or, or go until you lose the hook. So it'll last a really long time. So that's the standard Ned Rig. So why would we change this? Why wouldn't we just go with this? Well, the reason we might not just stick with this is one, if the fish are just not looking for this action, we might try something different. Now, Z-Man plastics are extremely buoyant. This Elastec is amazing, and it's gonna have a decent amount of action on the bottom, but there are ways that we can rig this for more action. We can rig it to get into tighter cover. We can rig it weedless. We can rig it with different styles of baits. So let's get into that. Let's start with the plastics first. So what you should know is that there are many different kinds of plastics out there and many different brands make them too. Z-Man's basically the pioneer of the Ned Rig. They are the ones that brought this to the forefront of the fishing industry and have really carried it quite a distance. And they've gotten that Ned Rig into a lot of fishermen and women's hands. So we're gonna start with them. Uh, so we've got different color options, just like any other plastic. You're gonna have a ton of different colors. Uh, we've got some nice little split color options. This is the Copper Truce. By the way, this is my favorite color. Uh, just, I, I, I think stained water, this thing just crushes in my rivers, in my lakes. Like, if you got stained water, this thing is putting numbers in my boat. Many, many bass. Um, so we've got different color options. We've also got the option for creature styles. So these are the bug style. This are uh, a tube style bait. We've got a uh, hologramic shape or like a creature style bait there. We got craws. So we got all sorts of different things. They're all elastic, so they're super stretchy, buoyant, and they've got a ton of action when they're sitting in the water. If you guys wanna see what that action looks like, actually just go jump over to uh, my video that I did in a fish tank of Ned Rigs. I'll post a link below in the description so you can check that out as well if you just wanna see what these things look like in action. So we've got creature styles, we've got different colors to choose from. We also have different sizes to choose from. So here's the big TRD. By the way, TRD means the real deal, but I just call them turds because I think it's hilarious and so do most fishermen. So there's the big turd and that's gonna give us some cool options we'll get back to in a minute. Then we've got the different brands. So I've tested a lot of these, probably the only one on the market I haven't really tried uh, other than like Bass Pro Shops has a whole bunch of like cheaper ones, little stick baits. But I think I need to try Six Cents. So I don't have the Ned Fry by Six Cents. It's something I'll pick up and test out soon, but I'm sure it'll perform just fine. I've put a lot of fish in the boat. You guys can check out one of my last smallmouth videos with the Guggen Baits Rattle and Ned. This thing does work and it actually has two rigging options we're gonna get to in a second. But you've got the Guggen Baits Rattle and Ned. Add a little noise to that action. Kind of depends, but if you got like heavy current, it's raining, it's windy, whatever. It's definitely not a bad idea to throw that. Uh, Strike King has one. This is the KVD Perfect Plastics Ned Ocho. Uh, it's got some ribbing to it, some good movement in the water. It's obviously not gonna be as stretchy. Nothing really compares to uh, the Z-Man Elastec except for the Sakoshi Bug. This is one of those MTB brands. I think it's 10,000 fish. There's your stretchiness. You've got more buoyancy here, but I will tell you this is nowhere near 
as durable as a Z-Man Elastec. Just a heads up. Uh, this thing will catch two, three fish and it's toast. It's done. But it is very buoyant and it is very stretchy. So that's a plus. We've got X-Zone. So this is cool. It has like a, a egg-shaped head there. So it's gonna move a little bit more in the water. That gives you a little different action. We have Strike King has more options. This is the cut tail. So we actually have this wide little flange here. So it's gonna move a lot in the water uh, with that extra plastic. Pretty stretchy, not as much as a Z-Man of course, but different purpose. So something different that we can throw. All of these obviously come in a thousand colors. Striking also has a bug style. So this one is the Rage Ned Bug. Okay, so it's a very thin profile bug style bait. Got the Robo Worm. Robo Worm makes some solid colors. Uh, again, that sort of two-tone split color range right there. Uh, I've got one rigged up. It's a, a way to rig this, I'll show you in a little bit. It's a little bit longer compared to the classic Z-Man by about an inch or two. So you guys can see a little bit of a difference there. Got a lot of action. Again, not that same stretchability as the Z-Man Elastic. Is stretchability a word? It is now. Uh, one other one I'll show you guys. This is a Yum Bait Craw kind of a mini bug or mini craw style. That's an option too. Uh, it's just that regular plastic you get with most of your fishing plastics, but it does have this hollow section here. So quick note also on the Guggen Baits Rattle and Ned is that there's this little plastic rattle in there with two uh, metal balls in it that's gonna give you that rattling sound. You got an option here. You can pop that out and you're gonna have this hollow body now at the end when that's out of there. What that does, same as what this does, is where the hollow body section is, it's actually gonna fill with an air bubble now, and it's going to help this stand up. So if you guys watched my Ned Rig action video in the fish tank, uh, I complained that the Guggenbaits rattle and Ned doesn't stand up. With the rattle, it doesn't, because the rattle pulls it down, the weight moves it. But if you pop that rattle out, that air bubble actually holds it up. So it actually has two rigging options. You can go real noisy, or you pop that sucker out, you got an air bubble in it, and it'll stand up just like a Z-Man plastic. It's just, again, not nearly as durable. Uh, this one, for example, that's what happened after one fish. So, you know, you're just gonna have to buy a bunch of packs of them. But they're good. I like the colorways. Again, with that two-tone, they're gonna have a little more flashy options. So uh, definitely not a bad option. All right, so there's your plastic options. So let's talk about some of these alternative methods to rigging it. We already talked about your Z-Man shrooms, straight body Ned is like the classic. So this is the standard one most people know. You either have done this with the Z-Man Elastec or have you done it with half of a Senko bait because you can just use really anything. So this is like a busted XO ribbon I threw on there for a little just twisty tail action, something different. This will stand up on the bottom and this is gonna move around a lot in the water. So you can do all sorts of stuff. So get creative with your basic plastics before you go spending a bunch of money on all different things and blaming me for going broke on Z-Man, okay? Don't blame me for that. Um, I'll, I'll go broke enough for both of us. So let's talk about how we can rig this thing. Uh, first different option you guys can go with is you can rig it weedless. So with that, I recommend a couple options. So one of the ways that we can rig this thing weedless is we can just get a weed guard. So the Z-Man shrooms with the weed guard has these two metal guards right there that'll hopefully prevent you from hooking into a tree or whatever cover you're fishing around. So this is the light option. Definitely not truly weedless. It's just mostly protected. Again, you only got those two wires right there. Another option is actually to take your regular shrooms jig we're gonna take our bait and thread on this copper truce because it's the money maker, right? So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna thread it like you would if you were running a Texas rig, right? So we're gonna Texas rig it. So we're just gonna punch the hook through the bottom side of the bait. We're gonna thread it all the way up here onto the top of the hook. So it's gonna look like this. Then we're going to come through the belly of the bait. So I like to roll it up and then punch it through. It's a little tougher with that Z-Man Elastec, which is a good thing. So now we've got the hook coming through, penetrated there. We're gonna make sure everything's as straight as can be. And then we're just gonna slide that plastic up, right? And skin hook it. 
And with Z-Man versus standard Senkos, it's gonna be a little easier to skin hook this thing. So we've got our skin hooked. It's gonna look mostly straight. Might have the little divot, whatever. It's not gonna make a big difference. Uh, the bait keeper on the shrooms jig is gonna help keep that worm on. Mostly straight body right there. And I would fish this in a river. I have, again, if you look at that last Ned Rig fishing trip I went on, uh, we were rigging it just like this. We were actually rigging the uh, Guggen Baits Rattle and Ned and just hammering smallmouth. But I was fishing this around really heavy cover, just pulling it right through logs, no problem. That is an easy route right there. So we got a weed guard, we got that. My new favorite is actually these EWG hooks right here by Lifted Jigs. So we get a mushroom style jig, right? That mushroom head. So it's still gonna stand up on the bottom, but it's paired up with an EWG hook. So that extra wide gap is going to allow us to rig a more straight body weedless. That little bend or elbow towards the top makes it easy to let that bait sit there because one of the issues you will have with this is after a few fish, it's either gonna tear that bait up, especially if you're using standard plastic instead of the Elastec, uh, or it's gonna start sliding off or something like that. So the rig starts to come apart on you a little bit after you start catching fish. This does not. And on my most recent trip, uh, we actually were fishing this, uh, this exact craw pattern here. This is a black and blue fleck EWG hook from uh, Lifted Jigs paired up with that Z-Man Elastec craw. This thing hammers in rivers, especially if you guys are fishing for smallmouth. So check that out, great option. And those Lifted Jig rigs come in different colors. So I got a red, uh, they make chartreuse, I think, uh, and green, pumpkin, black and blue, all that stuff. So lots of different options there. So that's, that's probably my favorite weedless option. A couple other options, I'll just do honorable mention. We're not gonna rig these, but I want you guys to know that they're an option. You can take a flipping hook. This is a VMC flipping hook. It's uh, still got a Snell knot on it because <laughs> I just recently clipped it off, whatever. Uh, so you can take a flipping hook and we can rig it weedless just like you would a tube, craw, you know, worm, whatever you're rigging to that. Uh, that way you have it snell knotted and basically just think of having, think of having that weedless rig, smaller profile bait. If the fish are looking for something smaller, then you can go with something like that and you'll have a more durable bait set up to flip with. So, I mean, it does work. Z-Man also makes these. These are the finesse bullets. This is not a mushroom style jig, so it's not gonna sit upright. It is EWG, but it has more of this belly weight and this head weight, and it's tapered, and then with the eye of the hook being set in the position it is, it's really gonna sit on the bottom like that. So a little bit different, more of a horizontal profile. Definitely works, caught pike with this actually, uh, and plenty of bass, so good option too. You can get those pretty light, uh, and you'll be truly weedless. And then the last option I'm gonna show you guys, I'm actually gonna rig because you gotta see this to believe it. Uh, but we're gonna Texas rig. So I have a light wire straight shank. You can do this with EWG hooks as well. And we're going to rig Texas style our Z-Man Elastec. So we're gonna bring it right up to that elbow there. And we're gonna go through the belly of the bait. Make sure we're as straight as we can. Skin hook that, there we go. So straight body on the straight shank hook. Again, you can do that with the EWG just fine. So from here, we're gonna add some weight. So this is this weightless and with the buoyancy of the Z-Man Elastex is not gonna do very much good for you. Uh, it's just gonna kinda like sit towards the top of the water. I mean, it'll probably still catch fish eventually. Very, very slow. Uh, so the options we have to add weight would be more of a Nico hook or Nico weight. So that's gonna be a nail weight, something like that with a skirt. This is a VMC skirted Nico weight, uh, nail weight. And then we've got something like this. Don't remember what brand it is, but it's just that fat ball at the bottom for the Nico nail weight. Z-Man also makes some. This is the Nico shrooms. Looks like that. So these are very difficult to get into the Elastec. So what I would say is if you wanna use a nail weight like this, don't rig it with the Elastec, rig it with your standard, uh, like your, your Guggen baits, if you wanna rig that up, or the Robo Worm, or something like that. One of, one of the standard worm styles without the action. I mean, you're not gonna stick a nail weight into the end of this, right? So that's an option. If you're gonna rig the Z-Man Elastecs, 
just order some of these. All their accessories, like uh, you know, the plastics, the hooks, everything, they're all like $4.99. That's their standard pricing setup. So for $4.99, you get a pack of four of these bad boys. So why that is important is because this barb setup right here is going to be much easier to pop into this bad boy. So we're just gonna find our center point. We're just gonna stick her right in. So it slides up, no problem. So if I have to pull it, press it a little bit, just kind of like bunch it up, shove it on in there. But the nice thing about it is that with those barbs versus the standard nail weight, this is not gonna come out. I can pull on that as hard as I want. It's not going anywhere, right? So we don't have to worry about losing our weight. And as you can see, what does this look like? This just looks like a Ned rig. It's gonna sit on the bottom just like this. Just the line's gonna be coming out of this end. It's gonna have a little slightly different action, but not too different, right? But I'll get the job done and it's weedless now too. So there you go. Add weight, text rig it, or throw an EWG hook instead of a straight shank and you've got a money maker right there. Another accessory we have from Z-Man themselves would be what they call their turd spins. Okay, so it's really just like an extra little blade that has the same barb set up. So it's just easier to rig with the Elastec plastics. Uh, that comes in Colorado blade and your willow leaf blade right there. And that comes in like silver and gold. So again, $4.99, I think you get three or four of them. Boom. What that looks like is that right there. The reason you might do this is if you're using the Ned to move a little bit more. So if we're gonna swim it, we're gonna lift it and swing it, then it's gonna give us some action from that blade. You might drop it on the bottom, hop it a little bit, but then we're gonna lift it, and as you swing it, it's gonna move horizontally, and this blade is gonna rotate and spin and cause all sorts of havoc and move some water, and you might get a reaction strike out of that. So a little different variation that you could throw at them. Lightning round. We're gonna go through a couple other different rigging options that you might consider if you wanna change things up and just fish this stick bait. You can take a belly weighted hook, maybe with an underspin, and you can swim this sucker. A little more subtle action than a paddle tail. You can wacky or Nico rig it. So we can just take one of these. This is actually where the big turd is gonna come in handy. Check this out. You might wacky rig this, you might Nico rig this. Wacky, you're just gonna punch through the belly of the big turd in this example. Uh, I would use the big turd, or you can use the Zinkers, which is the Z-Man Elastec stick worm, right? And if we were to go Nico style, what this would look like is you take your bait, tapered end is what's gonna be up, hook always faces that tapered end. I've seen it rigged different ways, but this is usually how I rig it. So we're gonna rig that Nico hook up towards tapered end, and we're gonna take that Nico shroom's weight, shove it into the flat end, not the tapered end, right? So the weight will Hold your worm on the bottom. So last tech's gonna do its job floating, right? It's gonna do a great job. Look at the action right there. And we're just gonna hop it along the bottom. So Nico rigged last tech right there. You can also take one of my other favorite rigs, the Tokyo rig. Looks like that. You guys can make these yourselves too, by the way, but VMC sells them if you want them. And you have this wire, throw a little bullet weight or something on there. Got an EWG hook. And then we got like our barrel swivel right there that will rig up to the line. There would be another good application of the big turd. Somebody asked me to rig this up from a previous video, so I'm just gonna rig it now. So there's that big turd rigged up to a Tokyo rig. And I guarantee this is gonna do some work, right? It's gonna get a ton of action right there. Uh, Z-Man makes a couple of different options as far as the hooks go. So here's a weed guarded, right? So weedless. Uh, mushroom head jig with a skirt. You can also just take any jig with a skirt, right? And pair it up with uh, a, a complete stick bait, a complete turd, or in this case, it's a, yep. In this case, it's a Guggen Baits Rattle and Ned, uh, or you can cut it in half. So this is a small, this is like a micro jig right here. So I cut a Guggen Baits Rattle and Ned in half and shove that on there. But, you know, you'd be fine taking a full sizer there as well, it's just gonna hang off a lot more. All depends on how you're fishing it. Three other quick options would be, you can take a shaky head and you can pair that up on a shaky head. You can go small or go with your big turd. 
same option there. You can Carolina rig or Texas rig it, classic way, so we can put a bullet weight ahead of this hook right there. Or we can run this off of some mono or fluorocarbon line, and this is just a pre-rigged Carolina setup. So this is the Carolina. So this is just a pre-rigged Carolina setup. It just comes on that wire. You can rig it however you want, but point is you would have this stick bait way back here, kind of just floating in the water. Just another option. Last option I got for you guys to consider would be a drop shot. Uh, I have from JC Dropshot himself that he absolutely just slays that Guggen Baits Rattle and Ned paired up with your standard like drop shot hook and then just your ball weight or tube weight that's gonna be down below that. So, you know, if he's hitting trophy smallmouth on it, you might wanna consider doing it. One last thing I wanna show you is just the type of hook that you guys can get. So you can get that standard lead head mushroom head, so that's just a lead weight. Uh, or you go with tungsten. There are many brands that do tungsten. Uh, one of my personal favorites is Swagger Tungsten, and they come in different hook sizes too. Uh, from that light wire all the way up to like a two aught hook. So if you want to throw something a little more beefy with tungsten, so it's gonna get down, it's still gonna stand up really well, but it's gonna move through the water a little better. These also have a much more aggressive bait keeper hook there. So you rig these things up, I promise you it just doesn't come undone, unless a big monster rips your Guggen baits in half. So then it might come undone, but all right, guys, that's it. So I just gave you the smorgasbord, if you will, of Ned rigging. There are a million ways to rig a Ned. You guys need to get creative. So don't settle for just rigging it the standard way, unless that's killing it. Obviously, if it's working, don't change it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But just want you guys to know some different options that are out there for you. And maybe consider just getting this sick weedless setup. So again, this is the EWG Ned head from Lifted Jigs. You can check that out. Or my favorite open hook setup, the Swagger Tungsten right there. Uh, but anyway, you standard rig plastics, you can use the Z-Man Elastec worms, either the little turd or the big turd or one of those creature patterns. Um, not sure if I showed you guys this. I thought these were really cool. This is your last, last thing I'll show you here, I promise, no more. I'm such a Ned nerd. Uh, so this is the uh, turd bugs and it's that beaver style bait. So we got four, open these up, appendages, right, moving. This is in a Canada craw color. So you can see like that red gold fleck in there. This thing is sick and you can rig it up any of the ways that we just talked about. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Hopefully it got your creative juices flowing. Now you got some ideas of different ways that you can rig that Ned and get into different types of cover and really just incite different reactions from the fish. So, you know, this bait is extremely versatile. You could go out with a spinning setup, uh, preferably like a medium, medium light setup. I usually do like a money bag full of these types of plastics. Spinning setup, those plastics, a little box of hooks, and you can do some friggin' work just on the net itself. You don't need all the crazy crankbaits and stuff like that, this thing will catch fish all day long. So check it out, try some of these riggings. Let me know what you guys think is your favorite setup for the net. And if it's a classic setup, no problem. I crush fish on this all day long. So I just want, you know, I, I like to spread my wings. I'm a peacock, I gotta fly. And try some different things from time to time, uh, especially like the, the newer hooks and newer options that are coming out. So. At the end of the day, hopefully this was helpful for you guys and hopefully it helps you catch more fish. That's really all I care about is that you get out there, you enjoy the outdoors, you catch some fish and you have a good time. So maybe this gives you some ideas, some different ways to fish that Ned Rig to get some action on those fish. If you guys like the video, please consider subscribing, hit that like button, ring the notification bell so you see when we post more videos. We do two a week every week, so we're coming at you and we will see you guys out on the water.